Gotcha! Get him! Take this! Now! Now! This. Get him! Gotcha! Now! Gotcha! Now! Gotcha! No use! Follow this path to the Proving Grounds. Go with them, Kalathor. Without the rune, they will need a tree fork to guide them through the trials. The Dendriac asked it be you. He chose me. Truly. Kindly look after Kalathor. I am told the Proving Grounds trials can be quite vexing. Hmm, so they say. But I know a fair bit about the Barrows. I'll get us through. Guardian, check. Nosy but capable outsider, check. Yep, we're good. You ready, Calthor? Aye, sir.
So this is it. The room barrow slash proving grounds. Aye. They look just like the stories. Tree folk come here to seek the blessing of the lens. The Dendriar himself overcame these trials before setting down his eternal roots. The blessing of the lens, huh? No one is certain why the room barrows were created. Some, like the ones here, serve as tests. Others are designed to conceal secrets. And nearly all the barrows are rigged with tricks and contraptions that draw from some kind of rune lens. You sure know your stuff. What did you call yourself again? A guardian? Yes. We guardians exist to study and explore the barrows. And protect them from defilement at all costs. <laughs> Can't have scoundrels digging through them for golden treasure now, can we? That'd be real bad. I was born in their cradle, and raised to be their protector. But what I love most about the Barrows is that certain crackle in the air. Sounds like Lean's not the only one who lives for antiquity. <laughs> Perhaps. Except for me, the Barrows are my second love. Dessert comes first, but that's enough time wasted. See these marks? The store has been moved, which means our prey is inside. Calthor, if you would. Aye, very well. This marks the beginning of the trials. Do tread carefully, sirs and madams. The way has opened! Yeah, it looks like the floor switches can be used to move the doors. Corridor rotated. Everything went topsy turvy. Maybe we can spin things around to link together a path.
I don't see a way for us to reach the back. Could be there's another switch somewhere else. Did we just trigger something? Perhaps some new devices are working now.
Looks like there's a switch through this hole. There's no way we're squeezing through. What about me? Let me try. C courage, Calathor. There is nothing to be scared of. Is he gonna be okay? On we go. On we go. 
It's freezing in here. If I do not make haste, my branches will stiffen and snap. Be brave, Calathor. The Dendriarch is counting on you. Master, you stump! You are keeping the sirs and madams waiting! Hmm. What is this court? I will give it a pull! Enemies! What do I do? I know! I will hide in this box! I... I did it! I have reached the switch! Were you okay in there? I heard a scream. Isa, everything was just fine. Come, there is no time to lose. Guys, heads up. A rune golem? It's... it's massive. Huh? It's not moving. Is it dead? Now what? <sighs> I have a very bad feeling about this. Weapons up.
like it? Thank you so much.
They got me. No, no, no. Tough. Ow. Ah, are we there yet? Feels like we're about as far up these ruins' rear end as a fella can go. Shh. Did you hear that? Ha-ha! <laughs> Cut you with your pants down! I know that voice. Lean! <gasps> Lean! I don't know who you are supposed to be, but that's ours, and we'll be taking it back. Now! Your schmores! You stole it from the tree folk, and now I'm stealing it back. What you gonna do about it, huh? Nothing. That's what. <sighs> Kill her! Any final nuggets of cleverness you'd like to share? Uh, just one. The runes smile on me, cause I'm the luckiest girl alive! So you best skedaddle before reinforcements- Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, they're right behind you! What? It seems the luckiest girl alive has run out of fortune. Dang it! What the? Oh my gosh, look! They really are behind you! <laughs> Come now. You don't really expect me to... Ween! You in here? There! Look! Come here, you pest! I need a hostage! Uh, no! Nah! -uh. You stay back! Happening to me. Ugh. I don't know, but those reinforcements she wished for are coming this way. Come on, Marissa, let's get them. You! You're the monster who attacked my village! 
Sorry, have we met? I've done a lot of terrible things in my day, and all the despondent faces tend to blur together. How about my face, then? Oh, I never forget a traitor. Or a tailed freak. And now I see you're wagging that disgusting appendage for the League. I should... The hatred's mutual, fathead. <laughs> you bothered to chase us all this way? What dull lives you must lead. Who let a damn mask in here? If you're slinging that epithet around, you must be a guardian. Well, you can unwrinkle your scowl. We found no primal lens here. Shut up! You're nothing but a thief and a marauder. This is like multiple fated encounters all at once. That lean kid really does have luck by the short and curlies. Your time is up, evildoers! <laughs> As if the dregs of the League could ever defeat me! I just hate resorting to violence.
This one's got bites! I call on the forest! Please, I insist. Are you all right? Let me heal you. you. Ready to heal. got away from us. Didn't know my aim could get any better. No. How could I lose to these weaklings and a bunch of their Pet animals! You're coming with us. You sullied the watch's name, and now you're gonna help us clear it. You too, Mask. Sorry, love, but the Conclave of the Dawn keeps a busy schedule, and you're not on it. No. You wouldn't dare! What's she doing? Farewell, my Imperial Minion. It's been fun. As for you, my young guardian, well, I feel certain we will meet again. No! Stop! <sighs> Why, that slimy two-faced traitor! <laughs> Looks like you'll be facing the music alone, mate. March, brigand! Hop, hop, hop! What's wrong, Calithor? I feel as if someone calls to me. What do you mean? I, I am not certain. It's not a voice. More... A feeling. Throne of Proven Verger. I thought Lean ran off with that. Uh, unless this is a different one. Maybe the Barrows were waiting for you. Waiting? We Guardians believe every Barrows is waiting for the right someone at the right time. In this case, I think that might be you. And it's a Guardian's duty to protect the Barrows until that crucial moment. Waiting... So they were waiting for me insane too?
What do you mean you got the rune back? That girl had it when she emerged from the Proving Grounds. Lean? Well, I'm glad she's all right. Although I kind of figured as much, honestly. Then what is this rune I have? Come closer, Kalathor. We Treefolk believe it is right to cherish the old and cling fast to traditions of yore. The Dendriarch believes that is why this rune was bestowed on you. For you are drawn to the outside world and all things new. You alone can lead the Treefolk down a different path. But how can... Old things can be good or ill, just as new things can be good or ill. But you never know what you have until you experience what is missing. The Dendriarch wishes you to venture into the great unknown, so we might all cherish the old that much better. Then I am permitted to leave? It is what he desires, yes. All right. You saved me, the Dendriarch, and all the tree folk. And I am ever so grateful. Do you think I might come with you? I would like to help. I like that, Kalthor. So, what about Lean? Huh? <gasps> Lean? Is she still here? I was wondering why we haven't seen her. Aye, about that. After returning the rune to the Dendriarch, she took off in quite the rush. Said something about having big things to do. Uh. <sighs> well, maybe we should return to our village. Lean might try and make her way there. If I see her, Noah, I'll tell her to seek you out. That's what you want, right? If you wouldn't mind. Stop! Who are you? Where did you come from? Another raider! What? I didn't expect to find you here. Talk about your crazy luck. The spy Hurstwine is enjoying the comforts of one of our cells. Now I would hear from you, Sabine. If you're safe, I trust the Lady Periel is as well. You don't gotta worry. Me, the Lady, and that butler fellow went east before crossing the desert south into Eucharist. Periel said she's on friendly terms with their king, and that he'd help her out. But I thought we agreed to meet here. The Lady said you and Emir could hold down the fort, which gave her a chance to, and I quote, take the initiative. Heh. <laughs> Sounds like her, all right. Ah, uh, yes. It most certainly does. Thing is, while we made it to you, Chris, the negotiations ain't going so hot. So, she sent me here to fetch a little help. You crossed the Great Wood by yourself. Madness. Well, we live in mad times. Also, I had a little help from someone in you, Chris, who knows the route. King Yumashirith and Lady Periel have known each other since they were children. But though Yukris was the first nation we reached out to before the Battle of Eltisvice, reinforcements never arrived. 
Near as I can tell, the Yuma kid wants to help, but he ain't the most forceful sort, and he's surrounded by nervous pillow sitters who don't want to get on the Empire's bad side. What? They're playing nice with the jerk faces who invaded Altus Vice? The Empire has been selling a different story. They claim the invasion was in response to border violations committed by House Groom. Besides, the League of Nations is hardly a monolith. Just a bunch of little fish all looking out for number one. Regardless, Perry's counting on us, so we should head for you, Chris. Perry? Uh, I mean, Periel. You know, the lady? Lady Periel? Better. I can show you the way. Won't even gripe about how I just got back from the place. But first, we need to pop by the Tree Folk Village. Oh, oh, pick me! You gotta pick me! I'll smack some sense into those Empire-loving dummies. Hiya! Would the Provisional Leader and oh, fantastic Captain be so kind as to select the rest of his traveling companions? to die on my watch. See. Concerned as I am, I'd best stay and manage things here. Can I trust you to look after our benefactor? Her ladyship, Countess Periel. Got it. Thank you. And yes, 